What's up, everyone? Tempest with you today, and uh, in this episode, guys, I'm bringing to you three different modes to review, guys. So, first of all, we're gonna be looking at this bailer right here, an awesome, awesome looking bailer that reminds me of a Ferrari. I don't know why it's just so shiny, so red, and the sporty looking bailer. Basically, what it is, guys, it is uh, the same bailer as the new Holland with the slight changes to its wheels and the sides right here so sides are different and that's why actually i wanted to show you this baler it is super super awesome looking it reminds me of a spaceship so we're gonna be testing it a little bit later so i can show you how it works and if there are any glitches etc etc before you're gonna be using it on your farm the next thing i want to show you today guys is this uh tip right here for log transportation offload logs on the side that's how awesome it is and let me quickly check if it's gonna be fine with the man truck right here connect what is that looks like it is a bit oversized here i don't know why and uh, oh my gosh oh my gosh it is something something is happening something's terrible happening to my truck i don't know come on come on is it a glitch is it permanent oh my gosh look at that no way no way it's a break dance it's a break dance all right guys i uh, never mind this mod let's disconnect it before it's gonna destroy everything on its spot and uh, let's just never let's just forget about that mod here it is very ridiculous and the last thing i want to show you guys today is this um scorpion king right here it's no ordinary scorpion king guys don't be fooled look at that uh the construction of it is much more different than the usual one you can see here and uh i wanted to show you this mod right here separately uh, but I found this awesome mod in addition to it. So what what this is, guys, it is the Gens Crusher, I think. It's called Gens Crusher mod, which can be attached to any ordinary truck. And you can just uh, use it to crush your wood and uh, make wood chips out of it. What's so unique about this particular mod, guys, is that you can attach it to this awesome um, Scorpion King right here. And uh, yeah, it's just so awesome. You can work together. You can actually cut your trees and just put them inside your Gens Crusher and make wood chips immediately. You don't even need to use the uh, the crane, the second crane on the Gens, Gens Crusher here. So we won't be needing it. So before I show you how this uh, awesome mod works here, I want to quickly demonstrate you how our uh, super sports car baler is going to be performing. Hopefully, guys, it is the same. And uh, one difference I can tell you right away, guys, is that uh, maintenance for this thing is a bit, a bit lower. It is 95 bucks per day in comparison to the standard one, which is $120 per day. So first thing we want to be doing, guys, is unfolding our baler, then lowering pickup and turning it on. So let's watch how everything is going to be working out here and uh, just watch our speed here and how everything works. So yeah, nothing special, guys. Everything is the same. The only thing that is different, guys, is the, the appearance of the baler is a bit different. And uh, I've noticed that it goes slower than the normal one, especially up hills here. You can see we're going only 10, 8 to 10 kilometers per hour. Per hour. However, uh, it might be a glitch. It might be um, not. However, guys, I've been using the a normal baler, uh, the standard baler by default, and it, it was going a bit, a bit quicker. That's one thing you want to keep in mind, guys. It is, a, it is a bit slower, and it perhaps it requires a tractor with a slightly uh, slightly more power than this one that's that's a big question uh, however it is written in the description that it requires a tractor with 240 horsepower and in here we have a tractor with 280 so it is more than enough you can see it goes 25 kilometers per hour here it went slightly slower when we were going uphill so yeah that's one thing you want to be keeping in mind everything else is the same it is an awesome looking mod which you may consider using on your farm I personally am gonna use it as it is just super cool look at that guys look at those uh, look at those wheels and the sides are just super super shiny so remember to keep it clean on your farm so finally we are gonna be reviewing what we are here for what this is guys is the scorpion king slightly remodified and uh, which which is able to attach a trailer now and uh, what can we say from it uh, the price of it let me quickly check right here and we have it in the forest recruitment. The price of the Scorpion King is 200,000 
which I think is the same, uh, almost the same as the default Scorpion. Uh, the only thing you have to add to it is the Jans, uh, Jans trailer right here, which costs 150,000. Maintenance per day is 195 with a capacity of 30,000. That's not bad. And uh, the maximum horsepower here is 670 with a maintenance per day of 254. They are the same. The only difference is that the maintenance per day for our Scorpion King right here is 750 with the horsepower uh, with the maximum power of 290 horsepower. So yeah, that's one thing you want to be considering guys before you purchase this mod. As you can see, it has the uh, supporting feet right here. That's a very nice addition which I welcome on my mods. So without further ado, let me quickly go to our field. And yeah, one thing you want to be uh, taking into consideration, guys, before you buy this mod, is that it goes in reverse. You can see it goes much faster when it goes backwards than uh, whenever you go forward. So let me quickly change my direction right here. Yep. Um, so whenever you go forward, it goes only 15 kilometers per hour. And that is really, really slow. Not for impatient people, guys. That's definitely. Alright, let me quickly demonstrate guys how this thing is going to be working and the, uh, I'm, one thing I want to say about this particular mod that it is pretty unique guys. I mean the way you're going to be using it is so much different than what you're used to. And uh, let me quickly buy a couple of trees right here. Where is the placeables? And uh, we're going to be purchasing the fur here. Just like that, one, two, three, four. Four trees should be enough just to show you guys that this mod uh, is working a bit different than what you're normally used to. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna grab uh, my first tree right here and hopefully everything is gonna work out as I plan it to work out as a couple of mods were a total failure, guys. It was a hilarious failure. All right, one, more thing you need to do guys before you're gonna be using this mod right here is you're gonna be needing to turn on your wood crusher before you're gonna be cutting your uh, wood here turn on my wood crusher here and just uh, adjust the length of uh, uh, of uh, logs I wanna use so let's go and see how it's gonna be working out just like that look at that guys how awesome is it super cool those small logs, I can do it even faster to be honest, just like that. So for some reason my game decided to crash on me and I have to record this process again. So yeah, um, I think I've stopped at uh, cutting my first tree right here, so it's not a lot. Yeah, this is the way you guys, you're gonna be using this particular equipment here. And I really enjoy using the small cuts in here. They're just falling, damn it, careful, careful. Alright. So this is the way guys, this is the way. I really enjoy that this uh, equipment is very unique. Um, I didn't find uh, any purpose of using small logs until now guys. Uh, one meter length were just uh, useless in my opinion. Of, of course we could use a tipper to load uh, small logs in there. However, it's just such a hassle and uh, it's just so uncomfortable. This is one of the ways to use Scorpion King in case you are tired of using uh, the crane, picking up your logs placing them perfectly. This is just the way you have to do it in here. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Should work out. Come on. And uh, we've almost filled up half of our trailer in here. And as we know, guys, uh, it is roughly 1000 bucks per thousand liter of wood chips here. So look at that. We've made 15k from one tree. Isn't it awesome? I believe so. So let me quickly cut one more tree just to show you guys that everything is gonna work out just fine. And one cool thing you should take into consideration guys is that uh, our tipper right there has a, has a pipe as well. So you can, uh, you can basically just unfold it and unload into any tipper you prefer. That's how awesome it is. I'm not sure if you can actually set it up with course play. However, I think it is possible. You can actually set up your course play so it's gonna go and sell your wood chips automatically. Hopefully it's gonna work out. I don't know, I have to test it guys. And uh, in case I'm gonna set it up, I'll show you how it's done. Do it normally this time. Please follow in the other direction. Damn it, those trees. They're so unpredictable. 
at least for now. All right, that's it. Now we want to drag it just like that. Just like that, careful. All right, in case you manage to put it this way, guys, I think we can even afford um, cutting it a bit longer here, three meters long. Let's quickly check it if it's possible. Look at that. Yeah, you can actually do that. However, guys, in this case, you just have to wait until uh, the first one is gone so you could start cutting the second one. Otherwise, they may just fall off and not stack properly. So that's how it's done, guys. Uh, I hope that you are going to be enjoying this mod on your farm as I truly enjoy it on mine. I think it is a very, very worthy addition to my farm machinery. And uh, look at that. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Sometimes it is, it's just... Just not working properly, and uh, one of them, one of them is stuck right there. The second one is stuck as well, so they are gone. Look at that, he's gone anyway. <laughs> Works out just fine in any case, and uh, yep, just just working out awesome. And w as you can see here, we've got a hundred percent, a hundred percent filling level. So yeah, the only thing that's left, guys, is to unload our tipper over there and sell it on the biogas heating plant. And hopefully everything should work out just fine. And I'm showing off my uh, one of the mods which I already demonstrated to you guys in one of the previous videos. If you've missed it, just, uh, just look in the mod review section. You will find this awesome truck, which is... Uh, Truly cool in my opinion as uh, look at that this highly detailed mod and that's what I like about my mods they should be really uh, high detailed in my opinion because uh, otherwise there is no point of testing the mod if it's not being worked on properly so yeah look at that our trailer is almost full here and uh, as the conclusion to this video guys I'm gonna be heading over to the uh, biomass heating plant to sell everything we've uh, collected in this episode and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it and um, hopefully I've showed you something new guys something you can use on your farm as I personally enjoy uh, oh my gosh look at that I'm drifting like crazy on this truck no this is the restaurant damn it I have to go in the other direction it is, should be should be right next to it. So I just missed one turn in here. It is the next turn actually. So yeah, it is right here. Biomass heating plant looks exactly the same. So we finally reached the biomass heating plant. And the last thing we want to be doing here, guys, is we want to sell everything we have here. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. Uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode just as much as I did. Because... Um, those mods which I just showed you guys are very very useful and I hope I hope you're gonna be enjoying them as much as I do on my farm um, and yeah thank you again for watching guys um, leave a like if you enjoyed it and leave like there's no tomorrow bye bye and uh, the second option guys is to have this thing right here and that's what he told me guys actually basically what this thing does guys it wraps round bales into foil and then this machine just uh, makes foiled bales shall I say yeah th this machine makes foiled bales and then they ferment into silo